Hey everybody, it's my final up to no good video in this apartment at least. And as you can see, everything is pretty much packed in my room. It's just empty. That and it echoes too, so it's a little unusual. <laughs> but yeah, it's really sad and mean. But at the same time, I'm glad just to get away from all the shootings and shit. But yeah, this place is just like packed, which is bullshit. I mean, look at this crap. I mean, you can't really tell because all the lighting in here is poor, but... Yep, everything's pretty much empty. And uh, I'll keep updating as much as possible. Like I said, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything. I have my Bad Girls Club review to upload as long as my movies were 2013. I'm very late on that one. But it just took so long because uh, before I edit it, it's like 20 minutes long. And that's like my first really long ass video. But when I clip some stuff out of it and clean it up everything, it should like shorten down to maybe like 15 minutes. Maybe. That's like... But I'm just guessing now. But anyways, but uh, like I said, I'll post these right away as soon as I can, and I'll see y'all then. Bye. Hey everybody. Uh, I don't know how loud it is over here, so I'm just trying to do whatever real quick. Uh, I just wanted to let y'all know something. I've been like, ever since I got into photography, I've always, 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 always been a photo bucket user. I'm just like so into Photoshop. I just I can't help it. <laughs> but uh, for a while now, photo bucket's like, oh, change the new photo bucket, you can change back, this and that, and I'm like, okay, fine, and before I tried it, and I guess they didn't really sort out the bugs, because it was just in beta or whatever, and then, um, all of a sudden it was just like, oh, well, we're gonna be changing it anyways here in a couple of days, or here in a couple of weeks, so just go ahead and try it out now, and I was like, okay, fine, so I clicked on it, anyways, I need to edit a photo, and, um, uh, I went to edit my photo and everything has changed. I mean, the layout of the photo book itself looks okay, but the thing is, like, I hate change when it comes to, like, my photo editing. They gave me so many options, so I started doing some research. I'm like, okay, how do I change this shit back? And I found out the type of photo editing they were using was Pixlr. And pretty much they said, well, if you want this photo editing, editing, you have to go to their site, and uh, we will no longer having well, that they'll no longer be having it because their contract ended. And I'm just like, oh my god, what the fuck? So I went to the site, or at least I went to Pixlr. I changed everything up, and uh, everything's still there. I think, God, and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck you, photo bucket. Well, I don't mean to be so vulgar about it, but at the same time, like. I loved Photo Bucket. I've been using it for since 2006, 2007. I don't know. It's been a very long time. But now I'm just like pretty much done with Photo Bucket. Unless they're going to change things up and fix it, I might consider going back. But for right now, it's Pixar all the way. So I'm sad. But I'm happy at the same time. Weird combination. Hey everybody, just wanted to do an up to no good video, just got out of the shower, my hair is all wet, like my hoodie. Yeah, I've been pairing up the Super Nintendo actually, my boyfriend just got one, I've just been going crazy over fucking Mario Brothers. But anyways, oh another thing, happy Chinese New Year, and um, yeah there was a couple things I wanted to talk about. For one, I just saw this thing about this girl getting her boyfriend's name tattooed on her face. What the fuck? How dumb are you girl like seriously were you on some serious drugs what the fuck is your problem like what is going through your mind that makes you think that getting somebody's name tattooed especially on your face of all places on your face would be okay uh, i don't care if you're married or whatever or what's going on the only time you put somebody's name on your body is your child a family member or the deceased don't put tattoos on your face come on the body is empty. I mean, don't get me wrong, you have birthmarks and stuff like that, but the body is the canvas, not the face. The face, is already, the face already has its identity. God, science, genetics, whatever, made your face this way for a reason. Your face is not meant to be tattooed. The closest a tattoo should even come to your face is the neck or the back of the fucking ears. Or maybe a birthmark, like I said before. But don't tattoo some douchebag's name on you. But. Moving on to the next topic, <clears throat> I saw uh, another post about a girl eating her tampon, and I'm just like, what? No, 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 this can't be real. So, oh, 
laundry's done. <laughs> Hold on, let's wait for that some beeping. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, this can't be fucking real. This is ridiculous. So I typed it in on Google. Girl eats her fucking tampon. And I found the video and I'm just like, whoa. And she's, what the fuck is wrong with people? And at the time I'm watching this too, she also says, y'all are disgusting. I'm like, no, you're fucking disgusting. You're the one putting the tampon in your mouth. And she's just like sucking on it dry and then she throws up, I guess, and she's playing music in the background. I mean, what the fuck? Is this like the cinnamon challenge, really? What the hell is wrong with people, especially girls, to think that, oh, it's okay, I'm just going to put my tampon in my mouth. Ugh. Ugh. The only time your own blood should go in your fucking mouth is if you got hit in the mouth or you got a paper cut and you're bleeding. By all means, that, that's fine. But... <sighs> Stop it! Stop it! What the fuck, people? Seriously. Stop putting nasty shit in your mouth. Don't get people's name or anything tattooed on your face. Are people just becoming seriously dumb? I'm losing hope in human race. Really, I am. And it's so sad. Other than all that jazz, I finally need to upload this Up To No Good video because I've been just waiting on it for so long. And I'm gonna relax and watch some fucking Mad Men. Hey everybody, I just got back from my walk and um, usually after like waking up and stuff like that, well before I would just wake up and check the news right away, but since I've been walking and stuff like that, jogging and shit, I just, I check it when I get home. But I'm, I'm looking at this thing about this uh, boy who was an honor student and he was bullied and he got into a fight and now he's been put into an, an induced coma because he was having seizures, he wasn't acting right and all this shit. But at the very end of the article, it says that the boy who hit the kid was only suspended for two days and the police have not filed any criminal charges in the case. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And I was going to mention this some time ago, but I guess like I kind of just got over it. Uh, I used to watch these kids uh, when they were younger and pretty much their parents babysat me, you know, and then they had kids, I babysat them, and they're like in high school now, middle school and high school. And the younger one in middle school, he tells me about the stuff that goes on at school, you know, the bullying, the fighting, and how kids are, and I'm like, don't get me wrong. When I was in middle school, high school, kids were fucking brutal. But they weren't rude, they weren't trashy, they weren't fucking disrespectful. And they're fighting a lot, and I was telling him, like, whatever you do, don't get into fights unless you have to. When you're defending yourself, it's a whole different story. But don't pick fights. The best option, like they always say, walk away. It is not that hard. Yeah, you have to suck up your pride, and that hurts a little bit. But you know what? It's better for your reputation in the long run. But he's, I told him, like, when I was in high school and middle school, if you got into a fight, your ass got sent straight to fucking, um alternative school and he's like well they don't do that anymore I'm like and here I'm thinking what the fuck do you mean they don't do that anymore what happened to the discipline and all that shit don't get me wrong like some kids it's just bad timing bad everything when they end up in alternative school and that's not their place to be you know sometimes these kids are bad kids you know I understand that and they're put into situations where they're around bad kids all the time and then they have no choice but to act like they do and yeah, it's a really fucked up thing, but at the same time, there has to be fucking discipline, people. I'm not a parent. Then again, I don't have to be a parent to realize what kind of shit is going on in today's society, especially with teenagers. Discipline your fucking kids. School districts, come on, tighten the fucking grip a little bit. Yeah, I hear about like how they're thinking about like chipping kids now to see if they're actually in class and stuff. That's a little extreme. You don't need to chip kids in order to put some force into something, you know what I mean? It's just fucking ridiculous. This kid that had to go into an induced coma because some little fucker didn't like him or was bullying him, some charges need to be put against him. I'm praying that these parents 
filed assault charges because it is fucking bullshit. And the school's saying like, oh, we take bullying very seriously. Obviously, you're not taking it fucking seriously enough. Two day suspension? Fuck that. Fuck that. Kids in Texas get in school suspension for about a week now if they get into a fight. Before, like I said, they would go straight to alternative school for about mm, a good month and a half. I hate to say it, but you know what? Parents, your kids are not going to break. Give them ass whoopings. As much as I don't promote, like, hitting kids and stuff like that, but you know what? A good stern ass whooping never really hurt anybody. I came out just fine. As vulgar and as crazy I am, I came out just fine. I don't pick fights with people. I don't have to. I don't be disrespectful to my parents or old people who are older than me or are higher ranking than me. I give people all respect as I can until they disrespect me. Use your words, people, or should I say teenagers, use your words. Use proper actions. Be responsible. It is not that fucking hard. It's so hard right now because your hormones and your testosterone's fucking raising and your body's going all sorts of fucking shit. It shouldn't matter. When you get older, you'll say, oh, I should have fucking listened. You talk to your parents today and they tell you, oh, just listen to me. You're, you'll think about it one day and you'll thank me or you're going to wish you would have listened to me. It is true, kiddos. It is true. You know how much I, my parents told me, I'm like, you're going to want to go back to high school one day and you won't be able to. And here I was at that age, like 15, 16. I'm like, oh, fuck this. I fucking hate high school. Why the hell would I want to go back? Here I am going to be 23 here in a few weeks. And here I think I'm like, hmm, what kind of shit could I have done differently in high school? But at the same time, if I had done shit differently in high school, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I probably wouldn't even be into photography or writing or film as much as I am. And I love the person who I am today. So, you know, in a way, I probably wouldn't really change much in high school. I probably would have stood up for more. I probably would have stood up more for myself when it came to being bullied and shit. Because around middle school and elementary school, I fucking took the bullying. And up to high school, I just, kids didn't fuck with me anymore because I looked intimidating. But if I had spoken up or at least gotten somebody's face, not hitting them, but gotten their face and let them know what was up, I would have been a much bigger person today because of it. And I wouldn't have to be confronting these people now again, telling them like, you know, you were a real fucking asshole to me. Because that's another thing that's a fucking lie. Your parents say, oh, you're never going to meet these people again. That is the biggest lie and the only lie your parents will ever fucking tell you when it comes to middle school and high school drama. You will meet these people again. By all means, I've met, like, well, not met, virtually and actually met, like, maybe... Five. Yeah. No, probably six. I've met that many that have bullied me. No, crap, seven. The numbers keep getting higher. My God. It, yeah, it is like that, kiddos. And I'm just saying, like, stop fighting people. Don't bully people. Leave it be. There's no reason to bully somebody, whatever the case may be. Or you're going to call them a nerd or, you know, what they might be gay or something. Just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Because one day you're going to fuck with the wrong person and it's not going to end very well. I can guarantee you that. Do not raise your hands. Do not use your fists until somebody hits you first. But period, there should not be any fish thrown in the first place. Kids, listen to your parents. Learn to walk away. Learn to be responsible. Think before you act. It is a very important thing, kids. Just listen to me and I promise you, You'll do just fine and you'll go very far in your life. Don't ruin your life and don't hurt other families just because you got some fucking pride issues or you got mommy issues you weren't fucking hug enough. I don't care. Be nice to people and it will pay off in the future. Ooh, empty burp. Yeah, it's time to eat now. <laughs> but I will post this video soon and I'll see y'all later. Bye.